everybody. I'm just gonna position this lovely camera a little bit more. And I am here relaxing today. These cats keep moving around, so we might have to, um, we might move some more, but that's okay. So today's video, I figure, is to, well, I figured today's video I had planned for a little bit. I've been focusing on trying to make the most out of what's been happening in the world today. So um, this video is video live stream is going to have a lot of information. I hope you do stay around to watch it. If you're joining in, uh, feel free to comment uh, in the chat what the heck you would like to uh, contribute or make a comment on or other suggestions that I may have missed in regards to positive thinking and doing positive things while we're in this epidemic uh, of self uh, isolating and social distancing. So this is what um, my video is going to be about, the good things that we can do and good takeaways from what is happening because there's been so much negativity and we have to appreciate um, we have to look for something good that is happening right now. So if you do uh, enjoy this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already and write your comments down below. I would love to hear from you. I do enjoy reading comments. So without further ado, here we go. I have today to discuss not five, not 10, but 11 different uh, things or different ways uh, that we can improve our mood, improve our thinking, um, and I think it is, and I hope that, um, again, like I mentioned <laughs> about a moment ago, it'll be beneficial for you. This one's moving, I think she's deciding if she's going to, uh, to be leaving or not, because I don't think she likes to hear me talk. But anyways, uh, so the first benefit of what's been happening, I say, is... This is gonna sound wrong first, but it's it's. I'm gonna say it's about the sick people, um, the sick people that are at home. I say later. We're not talking about the more severe uh, cases. Just the general um, social norm or expectation of what happens when someone is sick or what ought to happen when someone is sick. So when you're sick, stay home, <laughs> stay home. Do not get on public transit and go coughing about. You know. Uh, find someone, a service, a, a friend, a neighbor, um, a stranger from from an online um, page, group, community group that will help you get what you need to make sure that you stay home and protect um, others from catching a cold, for example, that you may have or or a flu, right? And in our case, it's it's uh, it's more severe today. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're going to talk about the more positives. So the positive from the sick people or from what's happening, I feel, or what I think, is that people are washing their hands more. They're understanding the importance of doing that. They are coughing into their sleeve, and if they're not, they're reminded to cough in your sleeve, right? You wash your hands for 20 seconds, and, and you wash not just um, the palms, the inside of the palms, you wash between the fingers, you wash the back of the palms, and your fingers and fingernail area. So for me, I am a little bit more disadvantaged because of my long nails. I have to clean the inside of um, underneath the nails. So that's a fun fact <laughs> for those that didn't know of people who have long nails or what people with long nails ought to do. Um, if I'm feeling lazy, I will grab a foamy soap and I will just do it a lot more and go in there as opposed to going through each nail with my nail but uh that's anyways that's what i think is uh very helpful about our community being aware how something so simple is so beneficial for us for our family community and so forth um so that was the, the part about the sick people that was the first point the second point these guys might be relaxing <laughs> The second point is work from home. Work from home. Many uh, people that had not worked from home are now working from home. Um, we can we can stop at that point. That the opportunity that hadn't been available for those people is actually available, and I think that's a great pro. That's a great benefit to other options of. 
um, work-life balances for the employer and for the employee. So yes, they needed to get extra settings, settings, extra securities so that they can get um, so that they can get access. They might need technology like a laptop or a headset or whatever. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, but anyways, in all in all, there is another great benefit. Is this thing on? Yes. <laughs> uh, Abdullah is asking, is this thing on? Yes, this thing is on. Hi, <laughs> good day. <laughs> welcome. Please feel to add uh, contributions on on what you think um i'm just i was just going up to look at the chat what you had written but um feel free to add other pros and benefits to uh, our current state of the world today and what we ourselves are doing palestine wow i'm in canada i'm uh it's plus four degrees celsius right now so it is above freezing but i think we still have some ice around 18 days in wife had to get a c-section <gasps> Abdullah, oh my goodness, how is she doing? Record broken. The record for 18 days is broken. She left the home and got medical treatment, right? She's fine? Okay, good. Good to hear. Oh my goodness, you have such a busy household right now. I mentioned about work from home. Yeah, so you're... You may or may not be working. I'm not sure. I know some parts of the world, they are in lockdown and they actually can't leave home. Um, oh, good. Good. That's very good. So that's maybe has to do with my first point where more people are washing their hands and uh, coughing into their sleeves. So hopefully uh, that's part of the reason why everything's fine on your end. Um, three... Because I'm talking about the, um, the, I have 11 great points on what I think is beneficial or has been beneficial. Has, sorry, Abdullah said we cracked down at three patients. What does that mean? Total curfew. So you guys are able to leave home and go grocery shopping. In some parts, yes, total country lockdown, yeah. I'm expecting Canada or my province, Ontario, to go into a lockdown. Um, some parts, yes, mostly no, 18 days, yeah. I'm not even counting how many days it is. I left the house on Thursday to get uh, groceries and medicine. That was, so today's Tuesday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days ago. And before that, hi, welcome, thank you so much for joining. And before that, I left on uh, March 3rd. So I'm taking just a little over two weeks to go get groceries or medicine. I'm uh, not planning to leave for two weeks or so. Our fridge is full. And so we have to eat the food instead of chocolate and chips because that's our problem. <laughs> um, okay. So let me try to uh, also, we can, we can talk in between. Very happy to do so. I love knowing what's happening in the world or how you're trying to do uh, feel good, feel better. Really? Abdullah says plan for six months. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. Here they're not telling us. Um, they're not telling us how long. Today the Prime Minister actually said, um, what did he say? He said six months. Sorry, not six months. You said six months. <laughs> he said many more months about uh, so social ice, social distancing. So he's talking about social distancing now being two meters or six feet before they had said um, two meters. Sorry, they said two meters. No, they said two feet. Now they're saying six feet, a lot longer. Okay, so the third, uh, I said sick people. I talked about work from home. So now my third... Um, a little bit favorite they're all my favorite but one that i'm pleased with and what we've seen that is positive on in the news is that we heard that pollution is down this is my talk about the health so point number three is about how 
uh, our health system is impacted or health related overhead matters. So one is pollution is down. We've seen charts uh, or graphs or, or maps of what pollution was before the epidemic and what pollution is now and it's significantly reduced. So that's one win. We can feel better. Mother Earth is breathing. And um, what I've also seen and heard is that doctors offices are calling patients. Um, and so they're calling them to say, okay, you're, you're not going to see your doctor, but your doctor's going to call you. You're going to have an over the phone or your appointments canceled. So many times in the past, I'm trying to call my doctor's office and they don't pick up, they don't pick up, they don't pick up. You can't leave a message or if you can, and they still don't call back and they say, they'll reach you. Hi, thank you for joining. They'll reach you in a couple days and then they do and they play phone tag. This time they're actually connecting with you and they're talking and it's like, you're a real person. I love it. <laughs> What's the status at my doctor's office? Can I go see him or her or not? So that's another great thing about the health, uh, the changes in our system. And the doctors are calling, are calling, they're calling us. So instead of me being sick, let's say if I had a cough and, you know, suspected this or that, instead of going there for my doctor to check me out and possibly spread it, feel worse because I have to get dressed, go out, out into the cold, try to maneuver, get help. And then I'm infecting who knows how many other people. I'm feeling worse, like me personally, if I'm going to be selfish, right? And, um, and it's not worth it. Many times people don't want to go see the doctor because they're already not doing well. So for the fact that the doctor can call us, whether they are a medical doctor for physical or medical doctor for mental health issues, they can call us now. Like, outstanding. I'm, I'm loving this, this change in, and shift in technology. Thank you so much for joining. Hello. Let me see what my friend Abdullah from Palestine has written. Uh, okay. Uh, it's like Earth. We're trying to cure itself from us. Yes! Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's kind of like we needed it. But I'm, again, I'm really trying to focus on the positive because there has been many unfortunate uh, things and uh, people affected by it so far. And it will continue and it, it, uh, it will be difficult. But we have to remember this is temporary. We are all in this together. And don't panic breathe and and try to look at the positive yes we do feel worse but we can feel better we can watch youtube videos and uh and funny stuff and skits and comedies and and pets you know <laughs> we can we can watch those kind of things and get together uh so you know what i'm gonna skip over to i will mention the other points that i have i just have my notes right behind me on the screen hi thank you so much for joining but since i'm on the topic of getting together. Where's my family one? Excuse me, burp. Um, family. So the people that we live with, whether um, they're blood family or not, we can socialize with them. We can play games. Uh, we can chit chat, watch TV together. It's more of a leisure time now. Um, if they are sick and you need to be isolated from them, use a uh, video chats to, to, to keep in touch with them, seeing them in person, not just over the phone, which you also can do. Talk to them over the phone in your own home. And um, as I mentioned, video chats. Uh, yeah, we're less busy and we have more time with them. So not only do we keep in, can be in contact more with the people in our home because they're home, whether they're children or adults, but we can also call family and friends around the world and in our community. And so that's another benefit because there's more chance the people are home. Me, hi, thank you for joining. I've actually been on a horrible sleeping cycle. So I'm talking to people at any time, any day, any hour. And I can, I feel better replying to people on Facebook, for example, than over text message because I know some of my friends leave their phone on in case there's an emergency. And I don't wanna say, hey, what's up? at 3.30 in the morning when they're sleeping. I'd rather message them on Facebook and say, hey, what's up? Especially if I can see they're online, then it's like, we can talk. <laughs> it's not like you should stop talking at 9 p.m. because it's late. Um, so maybe that's kind of messed up my sleeping partly. Abdullah says, I've been looking up at UK and US numbers, starting to get really worried. Listen, I've, I've been watching The Who, Abdullah says they will be hammered, which is not good. 
yes so just um let me say something on that i've been watching trying to watch first source information so i've uh watched the who press conference world health organization the who i've watched uh, my prime minister and my premier uh and i've also watched a little bit of uh the president from the u.s um give press conferences and as well as health ministers and whatever so first source or best first source information i'm going to and i'm hearing and going back to the who the world health organization they are the ones that say the numbers are not accurate they have been saying the numbers are not accurate um the reason being is because each country uh tracks things differently and if someone has died um before the test results came in did they factor that person as the the death being the reason of the virus or not um so people still need to be tested um the who was saying it might be what did they say a hundred times i'm trying to remember what they say hundred hundred times more kits than they already have they've distributed like 1.1 million and they may need many many more but so it's in the works number one number one they surprisingly said because our government uh, and the governments that I'm hearing and the media, everybody's saying, wash your hands, social distance yourself. The number one thing the WHO is saying is test, test, test. And because there's the tests are taking long because there's not enough um, laboratories open or enough workers available to uh, process the tests, uh, the tests have been lacking. So while this is going slow, the government is saying, wash your hands frequently, uh, stay home if you're sick, isolate yourself, distance yourself, because in Canada or Ontario, it is in the community right now. It's not like, oh, so-and-so went to a hot spot and uh, they're the ones infected or they're close to a person who went to a hot spot. We now have approximately, according to the media, I don't know if this is true or not, but about half of our cases right now are from the community. So nobody that they know went to a hotspot country or nobody, uh, yeah, and they weren't there. So they got sick from outside. So practicing those rules until the WHO said everybody can be identified and every contact uh, that they've been in touch with has been uh, notified, they've been tested and they know who has it, who doesn't, that's when we can get the true numbers. So I'm personally not looking at the numbers. I'm already, you know, in my head aware it'll be a disgusting number um and so i'm bringing it back and focusing on my environment my home what can i do to feel okay to 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 get out of bed to keep going because i'm staying at home um and i have these guys and when i look down at them i don't know if you have pets but when i look down at them i'm like they have no idea what's going on in the world <laughs> Of course they don't, right? But because I've been so consumed, hi, welcome, thank you for joining. Because I've been so consumed with what's going on, I'm forgetting sometimes how to just be, right? How to how to just carry on because whatever's happening is, is I can't change it, but what I can change or, or keep good is my mind to make sure I'm trying to think positively and doing favorable and good things that are good for my health, my mental health, my physical health, and those around me. Let me see what you wrote. Don't know, we're all, we all go through that. Um, and you need to express yourself. When Abdullah, you wrote that you're a downer, or sorry to be a downer. Let me see, I can scroll back up and I can read the other points that you had written. So you had written saying, I'm a computer scientist, I know a thing or two, looking up the who cdc and 4chan even a five percent death rate will be horrible oh yeah because the flu the regu regular seasonal flu i read has killed 0.5 people and when the current virus was at two percent or one percent i'm like hmm okay that's not good uh so let me just scroll back up and continue reading uh abdullah you had written Cause the infection and numbers through the roof. Yes, they they are. They will be. They will be because we don't know when this will stop. When will people start listening and make sure they're all home who are sick? Right. We followed the Chinese model on steroids, and for the most part, it worked. 
just lock up yourself for 14 days because we'll stabilize and start to recover. From the graphs, I project the U.S. will hit 1 million cases by April 6th. Nice kitty. So sorry to be a downer, Abdullah. You wrote all that. Thank you. Thank you. That's There's two kitties here. I don't know how to close that um, chat right now. So this one's Butterball. She's my fluffy cat. And here's Guinness. He's the cleaner, liquor, the cat that irritates everybody. When he's sleeping, he plays dead really well. Um, but yeah, again, the numbers. I'm not... It, it's going to be bad, whatever it is. Hopefully, we're all keeping healthy. We're all making good decisions. We're all thinking. Uh, and, and when we're not healthy, we're still trying to think positively and that we'll get through this. This is temporary. Uh, we're not the only ones going through this. There's many, many people and they're going to recover. Uh, focusing on the good, right? So let me go back to my list. So I talked about sick people working from home, the health. Uh, the family and I'll mention shopping so when I went shopping um, to uh, Costco a warehouse where there's food and other items um, what did I find out when I was there the lady told me at the checkout the lady told me to pick the receipt receipt out on my own and I was like <laughs> okay yeah because I always like to take the receipt I don't want to wait for them and the receipt off the register machine faces me so it's just better for me to take it. But so many times when I'm out shopping before, they give me dirty looks, like I'm not allowed to touch their receipt. And it's like, you're gonna take it off and then you're gonna hand it to me. How about I just take it and let you do less work and it's already next to me. So that was a great positive for me, seeing that I can now pick up the receipt on my own and they're happy with that. Um, the other thing I noticed at the store is that they were putting the items, my items to the checkout from my cart. I didn't have to take it out of my cart. So I was like, bonus, I feel like royalty. <laughs> you know, the less touching, but that's what happens. Uh, I didn't have to put the items out of the cart and into the um, belt for the cashier. And um, yeah, what you need to buy now, I, I'm hoping, hi, thank you for joining. I'm hoping and thinking that people that actually, what they need, they're going to buy. So. I'm hoping, expecting there's going to be less consumerism from the standpoint of buying things you don't need, spending money you don't have. So yes, you need milk, you need bread, go and buy it. Do you need this piece of furniture or or 55th game to play? Like, I don't know. Like, just something that you realize after the fact you didn't need. Like a shirt, right? Did, did I need to buy another gray shirt? I have five gray shirts. I guess not. <laughs> I should pay my credit card bill that's due next week, you know? <laughs> the $12 or $50 is going to go a long way. So that's what I'm, I'm hoping is coming out of this um, for shopping purposes. And online shopping has been great and available. So people that are not feeling well, they are staying home, they're doing their own online shopping. And what excited me is that... Uh, like if you're ordering food to take for food delivery, you can they can leave the food on the porch. So that was it was just so exciting for me that like, you know, if somebody rings the doorbell, you don't have to they don't have to wait for you to get it. They've already been paid for their item and they just leave it there for you. They walk out. Meanwhile, I make my way to the front of the house and then I pick up my item. So I'm seeing this as a win win and I'm hoping some things like this are going to continue after this temporary crisis is over. Okay. I hope. Uh, it's another point is eating at home. So with us being at home and us buying what we need, hopefully people are making uh, recipes that they've wanted to do for a long time and they have the food available at the store. They have the money in their pocket. They, they spend, they buy the item and they make some nice meal at home. You have the time. It's not like you're home at five or six, seven o'clock and scrambling to make a meal and on the weekends you're being too tired. Now we have time. We have time to cook, to try new recipes, to do the favorite foods we like to eat. Um, so there's more home cooking. And of course, yes, you can order, you can order takeout. Uh, the restaurants in my, in my, in my province, we can still order takeout. We can still order delivery. Um, and there's still drive-through available and so far everything's been good 
and I have personally gone out to get outside food, as I call it, outside food, and brought it home and ate it. One thing that I read is to, when you get your drinks, to not get the lid uh, so that the lid can be, um, so it's like less contamination, I guess. So you just get the drink like you do a glass of water at home. I hope this is useful to you guys. Please uh, like if you if you do find some of this useful. Please let me know down below if you have any comments or into the chat regarding uh, other ideas, something that I may have missed. We'd love to hear it. So we did the, the shopping, the eating at home, cleaning at home home that's that's my number six <laughs> but uh but it's seven in this conversation because i skipped one so number six is cleaning at home so now for example we can go room by room so like on monday i'm gonna clean the bedroom and that's what you just spend doing at your leisure on tuesday clean the kitchen on wednesday clean the living room thursday clean the bathroom and so on and if you skip a day you skip a day but it's just it's something to do and something to beautify and make pretty in the environment that you're in which is your own home right so love it learn to love it if you don't what we can also do at home with the cleaning is finish renovation projects because we know um, that many times when we start a renovation project we don't finish <laughs> so here's an opportunity at your leisure to finish up those renovation projects. Uh, we have time to organize and there's lots of information online to find uh, ways to organize. Uh, organize your laundry room, organize your pantry. Um, I need to learn to organize. Oh my God, first world problems. I need to learn how to organize my new dishwasher. I thought I was gonna get it, like love it. I have three tiers now. And when I put the cutlery on top, every time I open and close it, it moves. And I'm quite ticked off by that because the first uh, dishwashing that I did, the spoons were up top and they were full of water. So I had to flip them. So I'm flipping them in the dishwasher and um, they get rattled. Anyways, that's my first world problem. <laughs> um, and so I, I have to figure out, I have to learn, go online on how to properly organize my dishwasher, my dirty dishes. <laughs> Cause I don't want to stand there and keep smelling it, you know, cause I get so frustrated and they fall down. And, ugh. <laughs> okay. Um, another point is spring cleaning. So you can go ahead and start your, your cleaning. So you want to, your curtains that you wash once a year, once every two, three years, take down your curtains and go wash them, right? Um, wipe down your walls, dust, that's, that's available at your leisure and you beautify your home. Declutter, this is huge for me. So for declutter, when I always look at something that I have an excess of, have I, have I used it in the last year? What was my intent? Did I accomplish it? Am I going to accomplish it? Most likely not. If I've taken so long to not do it, <laughs> it's highly likely I'm not going to do it because past behavior is a good indicator of future behavior. <laughs> we um so so that's one or that's that's a great thing point for me that works. And when I do look at items to get rid of, I think about can I put it in the garbage? Well, that's the last option. First option is can I sell it? Can I donate it uh to a uh to a to a store at the thrift stores um or a society or to someone, a friend, for example, or do, can I post it online to give away for free? Can I recycle it? Um, is it garbage is the last resort. Um, but going back to the, can I give it to someone is, can it be used for a craft? Like somebody will, will repaint it. It's just, there's there's so many possibilities. Grab a hold of one and try to do one at a time because, well, for me, I can get distracted and I will do too many at the same time and those that's not that's not a win because that gets me back to the I start renovation and I don't finish. <laughs> I do want to mention that this um, live stream this video is not to overwhelm you it's to give you the many ideas available for you to do in this time that you are at home and you're staying home because you're self isolating or social distancing and, and not buying something that you don't need, right? 
Okay, next, where's my list say? New opportunities at home. This one was huge for me because it's so exciting. Um, something that you can try new. So I've mentioned like cooking, trying a new recipe. You can find a new TV show to watch. Hi, thank you so much for joining. Please like if you enjoy the content, if it's useful and feel free to also contribute because I would love to hear from you. Um, so new things that we can try at home is exercises. Oh my God, I need to do that. <laughs> And um, if you do have a machine or don't have a machine or stairs or no stairs, you can log online and you can see what you can do with a water bottle um, or just regular exercises that don't need items for you. There's, um, there's apps that you can download and you can uh, learn from. There's people that are providing their services free, like fitness trainers are showing videos on how you can exercise at home. And then of course, what already exists on YouTube, for example, yoga is another good one. Okay, so we did that part of what to do at home. I'm, I'm gonna tell you about digital learning, so e-learning, so you can learn a new course, you can learn a new language um, online. And um, you can sign up for them, you can read books, you could read a lot of books. There's, there's that. Uh, what else do I have here? Lazy Sunday. It's any day. So you don't have to wait for Sunday to relax or for Saturday to clean. You can clean on a Tuesday. You can relax on a Wednesday <laughs> and a Thursday and a Friday. Whatever you, you decide, whatever you feel like, make sure you're happy and you're enjoying it. And so, so do that. If you feel like lying down, putting your feet, okay. If you then feel like going and filling, uh, washing dishes, okay. You then want to go and call a friend, okay. Like, you have um, abilities. As long as you have your internet, like you're watching, so you hear me telling you, and so I hope you have internet, electricity, um, you're in somewhat good health. You know, even when you're not feeling well, you can still call a friend. And I'm sure somebody will listen, somebody will help. And, um, and if you're not getting that, there's still other avenues. You can call 1-800 phone numbers to talk with professionals or counselors. You can uh, ask online either on your social group or on a, on a public group that you need somebody to talk to because you're not feeling well. There are so many of us going through really bad times, really, really bad times. And having somebody listen or hear you, um, sorry, that's the same thing, listen or hear you. The person that's not going through a good time, is not to for whatever reason, and they're just going to listen to you. That connection is so powerful. It's so, it just, to me, it like makes me human. Right, so if I'm like all into technology and this online and that online, as long as when I have time to connect with somebody, it reminds me I am real. It reminds me the other person on the other end is real, right, Abdullah? <laughs> so it's just it's a very it's a very humbling and rewarding time to be able to talk to people. So please do that. Please talk or listen or both and, and reach out. You're not alone, okay? You're not alone. Going through my list, sewing. What do I have here? Sewing. So what you can do at home is sew. I really enjoy sewing. It's, it's really called mending because I don't make new things. I just fix the broken things at home. So I'll sew the dog bedding that has a hole because the dog was scratching at it or some hole on my clothes, I'll, uh, I'll sew that. What else? Look, can... Oh yeah, so we can also spend time educating ourselves, not only in terms of getting a course online, uh, either a professional course or self-help or uh, a book for entertainment, we can also take some time to learn about somebody else's, let's say, condition, whether it's something like um, what did I write? Something like alcoholism or diabetes. If we have it ourselves or if we have somebody we love or learned some person has it, we can find out what is it exactly. Re destroy the stigma 
of what society may think something is like a, a mental health condition look that up what is the treatment how do people function with it in society it's just there's so much at your fingertips that we didn't have 10 years ago 20 years ago and 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 so forth the technology is very very powerful so make use of that um, either for yourself or for others where you connect the back and forth like I had said with video chats for example and I talked about the hobby hobby hi thank you for joining another hobby that you could have is starting a YouTube channel this is very exciting hi thank you so much for joining please feel free to contribute and if you like this video if you found it useful please give it a like and hit subscribe but anyways <laughs> um, creating a video like we're all online, right? We're all looking for things to do. We're looking to entertain ourselves. There's TV, there's there's YouTube, for example. So you can create your own channel. What do I like doing? What do I wanna learn? What do I wanna show and practice? And just click the button and start recording. There's never a time, thank you so much for liking this. There's never a time to try to get perfect at it. Just go, you'll improve over time, right? You want, to have fun you want to enjoy yourself if you think you wanted to try it do it i highly recommend it it is so entertaining you connect with so many different people whether you're doing it on youtube i i do it on twitch as well you can connect with people on twitch and it just makes you remember we're like i said we're real we're human people want to listen to us people are like us you want to listen to like i want to listen to other people i want to be able to relate to other people it's we're human we're human we're human we're human we go through ups we go through downs we have to strive to feel better to think better it's within us who are the we are the ones that will that can get out of whatever funk we're feeling, right? So, you know, I don't know if you guys know the saying, if you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. So if I need help feeling better, I'm here like feeling sad and miserable and depressed. Um, I get a phone call from a friend. I get a this, I get that. The sun comes out. I get my favorite food handed to me. Somebody made a home cooked meal and my pet came over and wanted cuddles but I'm not feeling good. It's, it's me. It's me and it's my thinking. I have to change my thinking and realize, okay, the pet came to see and she wanted hugs and, and, and pets. And, uh, and so appreciate that. Read my butterball. That's a pretty girl. The sun is out. Yay. We can go outside and get some fresh air. Somebody made a favorite meal for me. They care, they love me, or they're trying something new and they want to hear my opinion of how, how good or how bad it is. <laughs> Hi, thank you for joining. So, like, try something new. Thank you for joining, welcome. I hope you find some of this information useful and feel free to share something that I may have missed or some great ideas that you have. Either put them in the chat or in the comments section below. I do read the comments. Okay, so that was seven, which is eight. My paper seven, but we talked about eight because we talked about family. Now I'm going to talk about property and or your outside, your immediate outside around your home. What you can do, you can play with the kids and you can play with the pets outside in your immediate outside. If you have a backyard, you can play there. Um, I call this forced going out because... I'm not working, I'm sitting at home, I'm not going grocery shopping, I kind of can just stay home, go to the internet, uh, play with the pets, sleep, eat, and not go outside. But I have to force myself, I have to remember, it's good for you, go outside. So I will force myself to get fresh air and go outside, whether it's in the backyard for a couple minutes or it's taking uh, the dog on a neighborhood walk. That was her stretching. Uh, so I, I call it forced air and it's very, very good and very useful. When you go, uh, so I said talking about the dog or taking the kids on a neighborhood walk, even if it's short. We just came from winter, having winter cold air and not wanting to go outside. Here in Canada, it's been windy 
And so stepping out even for 10 minutes is, is going to be useful to start a routine and going about and doing that. We always feel better when we go outside. It's the, it's, we're around the nature. We're around things that, yeah, nature, mother earth. We want that. And we, we, we don't know we do until we go out there and go, oh yeah. <laughs> it takes some work getting out, but once I'm here, it's, it's all right. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Uh, second last point is pets. So this is a big one for me that I have because I have three pets. I have three cats and a dog. Here's two of the kitty cats. And so with the pets, uh, socialize more. You can, hello. Thank you for joining. So with the, with the pets, uh, we can play fetch. We can play tug of rope or whatever other activity we think of, we can teach them a new trick. There's time, there's still online and books and whatever you see that they like doing, see if you can improve their behavior to it. That'll make them happier because they'll feel like they're they're using their brain. Not when they're sleeping though, right? Leave them alone. <laughs> um, teach them a new trick. You can bathe them, you can cut their nails, you can, learn uh, together on brushing their teeth uh, for better dental hygiene. You can brush their fur. And I have Miss Things here, favorite toy tool. I'm, uh, I'm not announcing it, or sorry, making a noise for it, but it's the Furminator. She absolutely loves this. When she sees it, she wants to headbutt it. Like she just, yeah, I'm gonna, put it down quietly. I, I brought it here with me, uh, just in case she would start walking away. I'd be like, no, no, come back. We're going to comb your hair as I'm talking. <laughs> so we could do two things. I could do YouTube, three things. I can do YouTube, talk to people and brush my cat's hair, you know, <laughs> make it all good, all good. And then I'll just watch TV when I'm done. Right. Cause I want to have my Sunday afternoon do nothing. <laughs> Even though it's Tuesday, I know. Uh, so we said bathe them, cut their nails, brush their teeth, brush their fur, wash their bedding. So uh, I'm not sure how often you guys wash your pet's bedding, uh, even if it's, or, or change their bedding, like if it's a hamster, right? Or, or a rabbit, you want to change their, change the pine shavings. So go ahead and, and do that. And you do it with leisure because it's no longer like a chore, it's, Try to make it a hobby, something pleasant and enjoyable because we have the time. Um, and then last from the pets area that I could think of was about uh, mending their toys or throwing their toys around. So I had mentioned earlier about sewing. Um, my dog is not, my current dog Almond is not big on destroying her toys. So I can actually sew them up and give them back to her because she just likes to literally just chew like this. She doesn't pull out stuffing. With my old dogs, I would use big pieces of the toys as a as a rag, not a rag. It's, I call it a rag, but um, it'd be still a big enough toy that they can fling around <laughs> into the air or play tug of rope with it. If it's smaller or if it tears away easy, throw it out. So now you have time to do like a cleaning inventory of the pet's toys. Same with the kids. Um, if there's some stuff that, that I, they've outgrown, this goes back to the spring cleaning and decluttering. Decide if you're gonna sell it or if you're gonna give it away to somebody or donate it or use it as another craft prop or prop or something. Cause um, if you wanna use a, a toy for like a Christmas scene later, there's, there's lots of options to do. I love Pinterest. Um, you can type things in and they, it's called um, upcycling, I think, where you recycle something and you make it better. So it's upcycling. So they have a lot of great ideas on that. So that's, that's another tip for you. And last was one of the first things that I noticed a couple weeks ago with the social distancing and us being told to safe isolate and stay home and try to work from home, which I don't have a say, right? It's the employers that decide, uh, not the employees, um, is the quietness, how it started getting quieter 
in the neighborhood, um, when I'm out on walks in the streets while shopping, less people are shopping and they're keeping their distances. To me, it brought back a more quieter time, calmer time. Like when people want to go to the cottage to escape the crazy noises and everything, or they want to hit a spa because they just need the serenity and the peace. That's what I'm seeing when I'm outside now. It's quieter it's not it's not like busy body exciting like summer's here kind of thing it's just naturey kind of i guess can i can i use that word <laughs> so so it's i'm looking at the positives i hope i i shared enough good with you and really 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 focus on the positives because you know honestly i could break all these down too and go like no that's the negative and then this but we don't want that kind of thinking not today not the next day. We're home and we got to love where we're at. This is temporary. Life is going to get back to normal, our crazy normal. And we're going to look back at this time and go, remember when? <laughs> I really liked uh, sewing. I really liked brushing the, the cat's hair. And now I don't have time. So when we go back to our normal old life, we're going to have to figure out how to fit those new likes into 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 our our new our new our old normal life like things are gonna change where things are always changing but now we have the opportunity to do something we like we enjoy we have 24 hours to do so for those of us that are staying home and not working i hope this was a, a good takeaway for you and i really really had a great time uh contributing and trying to help you guys with ideas on what you can do and how you can think to better yourselves because when you do keep busy you don't have time for bad thoughts right i hope let me know let me know what works for you that you've tried uh down below i'd love to hear from you once again i told you that thank you so much for watching have a great day bye